Today we're going to talk about the heavy duty centering kit for hunter balancers. The machine I'm standing in front of here is the heavy duty elite balancer. This is an appropriate size machine for this assembly that we're going to be dealing with today. This is a 22.5 uh, with an alloy wheel, an Alcoa in this case. And there are three major pieces that we'll need to center this properly. And these are key to doing a good job of balancing and centering this wheel. The first piece we're gonna need is the hub adapter, or some people call it the wagon wheel. It looks a little bit like a wagon wheel. Um, some things you'll notice about this is in this case, there are some pins, four pins in this case, that are around the, the, um, around the adapter. When we're dealing with certain assemblies, generally on over the road buses, they use a uh, bore size that's just over 11 inches. And actually that wheel will center directly on this and we won't need a centering disc. But in this case, dealing with this 22.5, we will. Okay, some of these just note that some of these don't have these pins, the newer style actually it's just the mating surface or the centering surface is machined in and just won't need the pins. Okay, so don't, don't be worried about whether the pins are there, they'll function the same. Okay, so that's the hub adapter. Now the next piece you'll need is the disc. Okay, and this is a straight cut disc and there are two of these and the reason there are is there are different bore sizes for different design 22 wheels. In this case, we're using an alloy wheel. They're machined to a tighter tolerance, so we'll want to use the smaller disc. The larger one won't fit. But you want to make sure you use the largest one that's going to fit in that wheel to give us the best centering possible, okay? So this is the disc that we're going to use for this one. I'll set that aside. And then the last piece we're going to need is the five-arm star. Now, it can you can adjust for the different uh, bolt patterns. Uh, in this case, it's in the middle. This is by far the most common. And I've installed the fingers into that bolt pattern. Basically, there's just some thumb screws that loosen this up and the pins slide out. You can move them back and forth. And now I can check it here on the wheel. Fits nice. So now we're ready to move to the balancer. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is install the hub adapter. Okay, and it just slides over the balancer shaft and butts up against it. Now you notice that it didn't make contact with the back of the hub face, it actually touches the spring plate, but we're gonna address that here in a second. So the next thing we're gonna do is install the disc. Now we need to make sure that we install the disc such that the print is facing out or this hollow portion is facing out, okay? And we just slide that over the balancer shaft, okay? Now we need to install the two screws that come with this, okay? There's two um, socket head cap screws and an Allen wrench, okay? And what we wanna do is line up the holes on the threaded portion of the balancer and so that we can tighten this assembly up so it doesn't go anywhere on us. Okay, now we're just gonna put our screw in place, snug it down, we'll bring the other one around and do the same with it and tighten these up with the Allen key. Okay, and make sure that this is snug and that our adapter is contacting the hub face of the balancer. And the easiest way to do this is once we get these snug, is just to give it a spin and make sure that everything is nice and true. Kind of walks on a little bit as I do this. Now I've got it on and I give it a spin, I can see that everything's nice and true and I've got this installed correctly. So now we can go ahead and mount the wheel. Okay, so now I'm gonna lift the wheel up using the wheel lift. And this is a very important design feature of this machine because I wouldn't wanna deal with this assembly without a wheel lift. This is very heavy. And I just slide the wheel on and I can tweak the pressure up and down until I get, get it on the, the disc centered properly. Now I bring in my five arm star and rotate it so that the, the studs go into the, into the lug holes, or the fingers go into the lug holes. And now I take my wing nut, making sure that the pressure ring is installed because this is what's gonna transfer the force to the thrust bearing and make sure that I get a good tight clamp onto this machine, make sure it's not going anywhere. Tighten it up, then lower the lift Roll the trolley away, and I'm gonna roll it back 180 degrees and give it a good snug to make sure this is good and tight. And now I'm ready to go ahead and balance the wheel. Pull the hood down and away we go.
There's one other kit I want to talk about called the economy heavy duty kit in which the wagon wheel uh, or the heavy duty hub adapter is essentially integrated with the disc. And you can see it here in this photo. And essentially it's one piece, so we don't need to uh, install it on the balancer permanently if we don't want. Uh, but it works great if you flip it over from one side to the other. It can handle either of the two bore sizes for the heavy duty vehicles. But it's worth noting that this adapter cannot handle the larger uh, bore sizes that are generally found on buses, but it functions exactly like the other pieces do other than that.